Hi guys, and welcome to this video on transposition of formulae. I think it's going to be the last one today because my voice is beginning to give out. But it's really good to see you if you are not already aware. I'm Darren Maths Guru, and this is my small corner of the interweb to be able to show you that maths actually doesn't need to be difficult. And I do it in quite a unique and interesting way with a lot of humor, hopefully. Uh, if you can, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It doesn't mean that I'm going to be rich or famous. In fact, it's never going to happen. Who watches YouTube videos uh, on maths? Lots on cats? No, no maths. Um, there is also my mathsguru.com. Uh, that's a website with all of this in textbook order, chapter order, videos, downloadable notes, time codes, exam questions, and so much more coming on. And uh, if you can just let your mates know, I'd be deeply, deeply grateful. Means I'm not sitting here talking to myself. What are we doing today? How to transpose a formula. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, you already know that you know how to do this. Because good old Barry, who I want to slap, who is Barry? There's the guy in Australia who decides to make maths more complicated than it needs to be, has just called the same process transposing a formula. And when you transpose a formula, you're just changing the subject. That means you're making a different letter, the loner. And again, if you don't know what I'm talking about with the loner, I suppose it's that way, or it's J, and that makes no sense. If you don't know what I'm talking about, <clears throat> there are previous videos that can show you this. But ideally, we're just looking at making a letter the different thing on its own. And how do you do that? Well, we can do it by unpacking or strangely, guess what? Yes, you can use your CAS calculator. Now, there's not a lot of examples at my disposal, but um, I'm going to use the phenomenal Cambridge resource to, and with their permission to actually put my questions up. So sadly, let's have a look at the, I keep saying sadly, Transpose that formula. Transpose basically means change it around so that C is the subject. Now again, when it says the subject, it means let C on its own. Put C on its own. And then it goes on to say, we'll use the rearranged formula to calculate the value of C when F is 212. So I can do it by pencil and paper first. I'm going to do it by pencil and paper first just to show you how to do it using unpacking. So we have F is equal to 9 on 5C plus 32. I want C on its own. There is something stuck to it. I'm going to get rid of the plus 32 first by subtracting 32 from both sides. We can do this. We know how to do that. F stays at the front of the queue and the minus 32 goes there, which gives me 9C on 5. Now you're going to say, hold on a moment. That wasn't in the question. Actually, it sort of was because when you have 9 on 5C, that's the same as 9 on 5 times C on 1. And if you remember, when we multiply fractions, you multiply the tops together and multiply the bottoms together, which gives you 9c on 5. Now, why is that important to me? Because it goes back to one of my other fundamental rules, that when you have a division or bunk beds where the 5 is on the bottom bunk, that has to move first before the 9c can get out. So because that's a divide by 5, I'm going to times both sides by 5 to get rid of it. Bye, 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 bye. That leaves me with 9c. Now. I have more than one thing on the left hand side, so I have to put it in brackets, and then I do 5 at the front of the brackets, right? Now that's exactly the same, as if I wrote f minus 32 times 5, sadly that's incorrect, because at the moment only the 32 and the 5 are multiplied together. We want to multiply everything on that side, so I could write f minus 32 times by 5. But if you remember, when things are times together, we can swap the order around. And so that's the same as 5f minus 32 equals 9c. OK, we're almost there now. What's between the 9 and the c? Oh, kissy kissy. So 5f minus 32 equals 9 times c. I want to get rid of the times by 9. So I'm going to divide by 9 on both sides. So that leaves me the c there. The 5f minus 32 is already there. And I'm going to divide all of it by 9. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, there is my transposed equation. Now, I know that seems challenging, but <clears throat> practice. And I promise you, practice will make perfect. Now, when it then wants to go on, it says use the rearranged formula to calculate the value when f equals 12. So, wow, what did we have? We had 5 lots of f minus 32 divided by 9 is equal to c. Now, they've given me the value of f, so I'm going to do 5 times 212 minus 32 divided by 9 equals c. And I'm going to put that into my calculator. I'm fairly sure I've got it coming up a bit later on, but let's just do it now. Uh, shift divide. Oh, no, wrong button. That one. Down. Hello. So 5 times open brackets, 212 minus 32. Close, uh, close the brackets and divide that by 9, if you would. Gives me the stunning value of 100. So c is equal to 100. 
ka-ching, thank you very much. Obviously now we can use the CAS, and if you notice again, what happens here? Well, oh, tragedy after tragedy with my calculator. So the first thing I can do is I can say, well, I, because I want C first, yes, I basically said let's solve F equals 9 on 5C plus 32 comma C. And what do you notice happened? It came out with something that looks really, really stupid. C equals 0 0.455555 times F minus 32. Okie dokie, right, uh, hmm. Then I realized my calculator had this thing called an exact, and so when I did exact, it actually turned it back into the format that I wanted, which was five, F minus 32 on nine. Whew, thank you very, very much. Now, what did I do then? I then wanted to go on and solve this. How? Well, you may notice there's another little interesting function on your calculator, which is the pipe symbol, it's the vertical line. And when I did five, F minus 32 on 9, and I did pipe, and I said F equals 212, typed in exactly like that. What that says is, with this equation here, please substitute the value of F as 212 and return the answer. And lo and behold, what came out was 100. Now, obviously, you could have done it a different way. You could have just done 5 times uh, F was, what did we say, 212 minus 32 on nine, which is effectively what this equation here was, and done it the hard way, but if you've got a calculator that's gonna make it easier for you, then just make it easier for you. Just notice that when you copy the formula down, you do not want the C equals, you want everything after that, because otherwise your calculator gets a bit confused. All right, here's another example. Transpect the formula S equals U plus AT. To make A the subject, I want A on its own, so again, I'm gonna do solve. S equals U plus AT comma A, and what came out A is equal to S minus U on T, or if I wanted to, and I wanted a proper fraction, I could have done S minus T on U minus T as well. And that, again, is the end of this video. Thank you so much once again for watching. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, please tell your mates, and please head over to MassGuru.com and sign up. It's free with a lot of benefits. Otherwise, I'm going to call it a day. Thanks very much for watching. You take care of yourself. I hope to see you in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.